Hey guys, Gameplay here, and today I will be doing a comparison and benchmark of the Lenovo Yoga 510. Um, I've had quite a few comments on my unboxing video saying I should do something like this. Uh, one in particular mentioned the Pentium versus the AMD APU. Um, and to start this video off, I just wanted to um, compare the two processors and the differences between them. We can see some of the 510s have i7s. So we see on here, um, automatically we can see that the clock speed outmatches the Pentium, the cache outmatches the Pentium, and the GPU clock speed outmatches the Pentium. Straightforward. Um, this is a more in-depth summary. Um, we can see they're both dual core. Uh, virtualization support both of them um, but the Pentium has all of these extras here which I have no clue what they mean um, and if I don't know what they mean they probably don't mean that much so we see here this is the details the cache obviously this has much more although that is on level 3 cache 2 megabytes um, this one was manufactured um, to 28 nanometers, and this is 14 nanometers. So for the um, precision, the Pentium is going to be much better. Uh, integrated graphics, because these laptops don't have separate graphics cards, um, they rely on well integrated graphics, and the APU really specializes in that because it's well an accelerated processing unit, um, as we can see here. Here we see this is the Intel HD Graphics 510, sounds grand, and this is Radeon R5. If them things mean anything to you, then good luck. Uh, the GPU clock speed for both of them, well, the um, the APU outmatches the Pentium quite a lot. Uh, power consumption, it hasn't been posted, so we can't compare them. Right, so overall the APU is looking like the much better processor, so obviously that's why I got this one. Um, and I find that it run, runs games surprisingly well for such a little machine. Um, and one other thing to note, when I got it, it was actually discounted a hell of a lot to what it is now. Um, obviously, the um, Pentium is a lot cheaper than the APU now. Right, so let's just move on to some gameplay and benchmarking. As we can see, it performed reasonably well uh, with a few jitters here and there. Uh, just a note that was actually recorded externally by my video camera, so the quality of that may have affected the final outcome. Other than that, I find the image pretty impressive for such a small machine. Here's some footage from TF2 also taken externally by my camera. <laughs> 